everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and yeah, this room is looking really, really barren and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I cannot remember the last time that this room was so empty. I mean, it had to have been when we moved into this house like eight years ago. <laughs> it's wild to me, but today we're gonna be packing up all of my makeup. If you are new, welcome. As I said, my name is Ashley. I do tons of project panning and beauty content in general. And to all of my returning friends, welcome back. I love all of your faces and I am so happy that you are here with me today and are going to help me along in this journey. I wanna start by giving a huge shout out to today's sponsor. This video is being sponsored by Anna Luisa Jewelry. I have partnered with them in the past and I absolutely love working with them because they are a company that I can truly get behind and feel good about supporting. They are a jewelry company that is based here in the United States, headquartered out of New York, but they operate and ship globally. The reason that I love them so much is because their company really strives to be fair, fair trade practices as well as sustainably sourced and produced jewelry items at an affordable price. And all of those things are so important, making sure that where they are manufacturing their jewelry, where they are sourcing their materials, that everyone there is being fairly treated, they have a good living wage, that they are in safe working conditions, and then also making sure that they are giving back and protecting our planet along with that. They are striving towards a carbon neutral footprint, and that's something that is very important to them and honestly is very important to me. I don't understand why more companies out there aren't looking at the big picture of making sure that people are treated well, paid well, and that the home that we all have and share is being treated well. Now, you guys know that I have talked about them in the past. I have worn their jewelry so, so often and I have a new favorite. So, the necklaces that I have on today, it's actually layered and I love that their pieces are very interesting and you can wear them on their own, but they also play well with others and they're really great for layering. So what I have on today is Heritage, which are the two just very thin, beautiful chains. And then this one here in the middle is Fortuna, which I am obsessed with this. I have been wearing this necklace look for at least the past week. <laughs> like I wear this so often and it just looks so classy and nice, but it's really easily and really durable. Um, my girls are constantly pulling on these and they're wonderful. Um, I also have a new earring favorite. You guys know that Duo has been my ride or die for over a year now, but these little cute babies are in this in the style celestial and I've literally been wearing these for three weeks straight. I sleep in them, I do everything in them. They are so comfortable and so nice and I absolutely love them. And I am so excited to report that for all of you out there that you love silver jewelry, they have so much more silver in their inventory. Look at this cute little heart. Oh, I just love it so, so much. So if you have not checked out Ana Luisa, please make sure to do so. I do have a link in the description box below. They are going to be running a sale that is perfectly timed for getting some Mother's Day gifts for the people in your life, whether it's your mom, your grandma, a mom that you know, maybe a puppy mom, it doesn't matter. Any mom, or honestly any dad for that matter, um, can wear this jewelry and feel good about it. I have very sensitive ears and I'm very sensitive to metals in general and I wear these with full confidence. So make sure to check the description box below for that discount link. It is not an affiliate code or anything like that. I don't profit from it at all. It just gives you a discount and who does not love a discount in this economy? All right, so let's talk about my makeup. So what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be boxing up all of my makeup collection, but we are gonna be saving out my absolute ride or die, can't live without products that are going to be in a makeup bag and they're basically what I'm going to be using exclusively until I move. So let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, my friends, are you ready for a true behind the scenes look at the absolute horror that is my desk right now? Oh my God, look at this, this is a nightmare.
so here it is. All of my makeup collection has been boxed up and ready to go to storage. Wow, 28 boxes later and my entire makeup collection has been packed up and it is wild, wild to look at it like this. Like 28 boxes is, is a lot. Now some of them are super small, but I'm splitting hairs. 28 boxes of makeup, you know, it's not small. <laughs> Now for anybody who is watching me pack especially my eyeshadow palettes and literally just like dying inside, I am the only one who's going to be touching any of these boxes. Had we intended on the movers to move these then they would have been packed much more nicely in bubble wrap and different protective items. Oh, and it would have taken a lot more than 28 boxes. Uh, but I'm the only one that's going to be moving these. I know it's in them. I'm going to be extremely gentle with them and hope for it the best. So if you are moving and you are packing, don't do what I do. Pack it much more carefully. So let's talk about all of the items that I love enough to, st to save from storage that is here in this makeup bag. So come on over. All right, so first things first, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes because they are not in here. And as you guys know, I do a ton of project panning, so I have more than what is necessary for eyeshadow palettes because all of these are in projects. So I have these here that are in pan those eyeshadows. So I have the Lime Crime Venus XL2. I have the Fenty Moroccan Spice. I have the Freya palette from Odin's Eye, ABH Sultry, and ABH Soft Glam. And then in some other projects, I have these here. So these I am saving out, but full disclosure, not everything that I am panning is going to be in this bag here. I really had to be strategic about what I chose to keep out. So let's take a look at that. All right, let's talk first about base necessities. So of course, SPF mandatory for every single day. I'm almost finished with this one, which is super duper exciting. I decided to pack two different primers. I've been really, really enjoying this so, so much. This is from Danessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin Glow Serum Primer. The texture on this is so lovely. It has a beautiful radiance to it without being sparkly or metallic. It is just fabulous. I really, really am happy with this. I'm also a big sucker for the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, so that is coming along as well. Where would I be without my Becca Under Eye Corrector? I've got two foundations. This one is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. This is more of a day-to-day -day usage for me, whereas my NARS Soft Matte Foundation is on days that I am filming. I love this so much. I may or may not have purchased a full size. We'll have to wait for a haul video to tell, um, but this is one of my very favorite foundations. It's beautiful. Shockingly, I only have one concealer in here. Are you guys amazed? You know how much I love concealer. This is the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream in a Concealer. And this, I feel like, is so versatile. And I don't know that I really have talked about it much on my channel. But it is so, so nice. I really enjoy this one a lot. I'm currently panning this mini of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then this guy... Finishing off the complexion, I have the one and only bronzer that I have packed, and that is my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing, bronzing Powder. I packed two blushes. Both of these are in Project Pans, um, but to be honest, especially the Dior one, I would have packed this regardless. This is one of my very favorite blushes. I know it looks super intensely pink, but it's not. It looks crazy in the pan, but it doesn't go on in that in extreme pink. It's one of those pH balanced sort of products. So it's gonna look different on everybody. And on me, it is just the perfect healthy flush and I cannot get enough of it. Uh, this is the Note 
blush in the shade Desert Rose. This is in my Deck of Panning Project Pan currently. And then I have two highlighters as well. Again, these are in Projects. This is Becca Moonstone, and this is from Colored Rain. This is in the shade Fashion Show. And then, of course, my MAC Fix Plus because it is my favorite makeup fixing spray of all times, and I wanted to be using it. Eye products outside of eyeshadow palettes. Um, you're probably wondering to yourself, Ashley, why do you have something that is still in original packaging? And I will tell you why. I absolutely forgot to save out one of my liquid eyeliner pens, and I found myself desperately wanting one, and rather than going through and unpacking all of my boxes to try to figure out which one it was in, um, because yes, I did label some of them, but some of them I didn't, because smart. I went out and purchased a new one. This is the Physician's Formula eyeliner pen. This is honestly one of my holy grail, holy grail products, so I'm not like that mad about it, but did I really need to put it in my beauty bank? No, but I'm also not mad about it. I hope that makes sense. Um, I also have this eyeliner right here. This is from the brand Beauty For Real. This is the eyeliner pencil in the shade Whiskey. This is in a project, but just like I've mentioned before, even if this wasn't in a project, I would still be bringing this because I have fallen head over heels in love with this eyeliner. It is so freaking stunning. I have two mascaras. I have the Lancome Idole Lash. I really like this so, so much. Uh, spoiler, I definitely picked this up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I didn't even give it a second thought. For some reason, I just threw it in my cart and didn't think about the fact that I'm on a mascara no buy. I really like this mascara a lot. I think the universe was guiding my hand. I mean, don't quote me on that or anything, but this is really good. Um, and then this is the Cali Ray Come Heller High Water Mascara. I really like this one a ton too. This is one that once I finish it off, I am gonna be buying a full size. It is a tubing mascara and it is absolutely lovely. I have two brow products. This is from the brand, I think it's Scone. I don't know, it's all rubbed off, but this is the eyebrow pencil that I've been using. I'm gonna keep on using it. And then I'm trying to finish off my ABH Clear Brow Gel. So this is a product that I don't think I've ever really talked about on my channel either, but it is just the absolute perfect eyeshadow palette for anything. So this is just your really basic sort of shades. You've got a matte cream, you've got a couple of transitions, one's a little bit warmer, one's a little bit cooler, and then you've got a deep shade here on the end. I dip into this so frequently, especially because I am project panning so many things. Sometimes you dip into an eyeshadow palette that doesn't have one of these tones and you're just craving it. So this stays in my top drawer all the time and I pull it in very frequently. And then this is one of my Franken shadows for my Pan That palette, which I am obsessed with. I will be so sad if the day ever comes when I actually use this up. I mean, I'm hoping that that's gonna happen since that's kind of the goal, but you know, we'll see. Now you guys, this is the category that you should be most proud of me for because you know that I have a crazy abundance of lip products, and these are all that I chose to keep out of storage. Are you amazed? I'm amazed. So let's start with kind of this end of the spectrum. I did definitely pack my Persona E-Balm. This is in the shade Gratitude. You guys know I love this. Uh, but it might, and by might, I mean definitely, has been dethroned by these absolute beauties right here. If you follow me on Instagram, then you are already aware that I picked these up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty event. And I, again, absolutely blew my low buy when it comes to lip products, but I don't care. These are phenomenal. These are the Maracuja Juicy Lip, um, lip balm stick gloss things from Tarte. They are amazing, they are amazing. I had only intended to buy two, I accidentally bought three, and again, I have no, no regrets because I will use every last drop of each and every one of these because they are amazing. I did pack my Essence XXL Shine lip gloss in the shade 
pretty uh what is this pretty in hibiscus this is in my june bride project pan and i am dead set on finishing this off i refuse to let this outlive that project so brought it along as well i have from revlon this is in the shade toasting glasses this is one of the things that my son picked out for me and i am obsessed with it is absolutely beautiful uh <laughs> have been painting this forever so it's here this is my bobby brown um, crushed liquid lip in smoothie move and then my favorite lip combo of at least the past four or five months has well okay let me take that back my favorite lip color of the past four or five months is from Marc Jacobs this is in the shade dream girl it is just the perfect mid-tone nude for me it is so stinking beautiful and I wanted a lip liner to go along with it. So a couple of months ago, I picked up this right here. This is from LA Girl. This is the Perfect Precision Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Eye Cafe. And it's perfect. This combo is everything I wanted it to be. So absolutely, I wear this. If I wore this as much as I wore... Wait. No, if I wore this as much as I wore these, this would be gone by now. I wear this all the time because it is just so easy and perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed me taking you along with me in packing up all of my makeup for my impending move. I know that I'm going to be doing, or at least I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing an empty house tour. But if you would like to see um, kind of an unpacking video and getting everything organized and put away, let me know. I'd be happy to film that for you. Maybe a tour, whatever you guys want, let me know down in the comments below because I will happily bring you along on those journeys as well. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video and continuing to partner with me. I love working with you guys and definitely make sure to check the description box below for that discount link. Again, it's not an affiliate link. It is just a discount for you guys. So if you're wanting to pick up something for yourself, for a mother in your life, then definitely check them out. They have a wide range of beautiful, beautiful jewelry to choose from. As always, everything that I'm wearing is going to be linked in the description box below. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing so. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day. And I will see you next time. Bye.